Here on Andros Island in the Bahamas, we are standing on the Great Bahama Bank. It is the bedrock foundation of the islands and it is mostly comprised of calcium carbonate. Today we will explore the importance of calcium carbonate. We will learn what it is, where we can find it, and how it is used in the oceans. My name is Haley Collins and I'm an environmental educator at International Field Studies. At Fort Farr Field Station on Andros Island, we have a lot of calcium carbonate in the form of limestone. Limestone is a sedimentary rock made of calcium carbonate. A sedimentary rock is a type of rock that forms from the accumulation of small pieces of sediment compacting together. Limestone is mostly made up of shells, corals, and sand forming together. Limestone can be broken apart and washed away by three types of erosion, physical, biological, and chemical. Chemical erosion is what we are going to focus on today. Fresh rainwater is slightly acidic, and as it falls onto the limestone, it dissolves it away. As the rock dissolves, it leaves behind pockets where the, the dissolved sediment falls into it in pools of water. As the ocean comes splashing over the top, it picks up that dissolved sediment and mixes it back into the ocean. That dissolved sediment can then be broken into parts and the calcium carbonate part can be used to form new limestone or it can be used by organisms in the ocean. Calcium carbonate is a compound that results from calcium ions reacting with carbonate ions in the water. Its chemical symbol is CaCO3. That means it is made up of calcium, carbon, and oxygen. This reaction creates a solid particle that sinks to the ocean floor. From there, organisms can use it to build their shells, skeletons, and reef structures. Corals use calcium carbonate for their skeletons. Snails, clams, and oysters secrete it to create their shells. Urchins and sea stars use it for their exoskeletons and spines. Crustaceans create a hard shell as armor, or so they can attach to rocks, bottoms of boats, and other stable surfaces in the ocean. Even microscopic organisms like zooplankton and phytoplankton create tests, or shells, from calcium carbonate. Do you know where else calcium carbonate is found on Earth? In your shower, and in the pipes of your house. The calcium in hard water reacts with carbonate ions to create lime scale. Calcium carbonate is really important to our oceans. It is one of the major building blocks that create the ecosystems we know and love today. Understanding how it forms, how it erodes, and how it is used in the oceans is vital as we learn how climate changes will affect our future. Do you remember how I said acidic rainwater can dissolve calcium carbonate? As oceans acidify, we will begin to see calcium carbonate and all of the things that are made from it dissolve more quickly. This means shells and skeletons will weaken and thin. Because they are not able to get enough calcium carbonate, they will become defenseless. So what can you do? By lowering your carbon footprint, you can help slow ocean acidification, which will keep calcium carbonate levels in the ocean in abundance. Actions have ripple effects, and your efforts to lower your carbon footprint will have lasting impacts into the future for millions of species beyond humans. Thank you from International Field Studies.